Hi, I'm Sammy. I've been wanting to make this video for a while. This video is going to be prepping for your family on a budget. Okay, we know food shortages have been here. We know they're going to probably continue. There's talks of war. Inflation is crazy. I've been storing food for a while and I've been wanting to make this for a while. And because the prices are rising now, I really want to get on it because everyone needs to make sure they have these things in their household. Um, in order to position yourself and your family in the best possible way moving forward in this year okay it's in the astrology we see it in the world around us um food shortages and the physical realm food water things that hold value to you in your life for survival are going to be very important for at least the next 18 months but most likely the next few years so firstly when you have a family, I'm talking children. If you're new to my channel, um, this is mostly a spiritual channel, but I do uh, things like this too, and I want to help moms um, more and more. So I am a single mom of three children, and so it is vital for you to have high caloric foods. In the instance that you lose power, you lose water, you need to feed your kids. Your fridge isn't going to be working. You need stuff you can store in your pantry. So, firstly, when you're dealing with littles, children, they need high fat content for their brain development, right? And then as they grow older into teenage years, they don't need maybe as much fat, but protein is very important. Carbohydrates are going to be important. Um, when you don't have that much food, you're going to need energy. So, Fat is very important, of course protein is very important, um, but carbohydrates, when you don't have a lot of food, you need a high carbohydrate diet just to have energy, you know, and so you can use it sparingly and you're going to have to split it up or ration or whatever. And this video is not for any type of fear mongering or to freak people out. This is so that you're prepared and that you can understand that you can do it in a cheap way, okay? You don't have to buy everything at once. You get it when you're at the store, you buy one thing at a time, maybe five things at a time. The point of this is to know that you can do it on a budget. You can do it uh, and make sure that your kids are prepared. So, firstly, meat, okay? Meat, high protein, high fat, as much fat as you can find. You're going to need it. Um, roast beef, I didn't even know it came in a can. It does, okay? Spam. This isn't even spam, it's called luncheon meat. And I don't vouch for any of these, um, whatever, I'm not sponsored, I don't care about any of these brand names. This is about the price, okay? Because it doesn't matter if it's healthy for you, really. Um, we just wanna survive, right? So I'm not saying any of this stuff is good for you. I'm saying it will keep you alive and these are necessities. So meat, spam, the whole state of Hawaii survived on spam for a very long time and it's still a vital part of their diet. So, Spam is great, okay? You can fry it, you can put it on bread, if bread is available, we don't know. We're looking into the future, we don't know yet, we just wanna be prepared. So, tuna, these big things of chicken would be great to split between a family, you know, for a meal. And the thing about cans is, um, most of them are filled with a lot of salt, and preservatives so if you have to cut it open and you can't eat it right away you could probably get away with eating it the next day or, or even the day after because they're so uh, highly preserved so that is the good thing about cans meat right and then also think about your pets if you have dogs and you run out of dry food and it's very expensive to buy canned food you could give them something like this if you had to, okay? Or mix this with a can of green beans and maybe some brown rice or something. So, salmon, you wanna have a lot of fat. So, salmon is great for that. Beef, um, and these things are super cheap, okay? These little Vienna sausages, this can was like 70 or 80 cents. And like I said, you don't have to get it all at once, okay? You get it when you can, you gather things through time. So meat now milks this is important dry milk because you just add water or you can add something like this okay 
Um, this is larger, so um, if you live in a cold climate, you could probably keep it for a while once you open it. But if it's hot out, um, it may only last a few days once it's open. So you want to keep that in mind for the future. However, um, coconut cream. These are only a dollar or two per can. Okay, coconut milks. Atkins, the powder is really good for young children because it has high fat content, okay, and decent amount of protein. Um, I just threw this in here. It's not really that serious, but if you haven't had sweets in a while and all you're eating is canned food, these are super cheap. Um, these little packets of pudding and instant, of course, they're very cheap. And since you already have the milk, you know, that you can store long term, you know, I'm just saying it's super cheap. And since you already got the milk for a sweet treat once every two months or something, depending on our situation moving forward in the future, I'm just throwing it out there. Of course, beans and rice. Okay. These are cheap. I bought this giant thing of rice for like $7. And like I said, you don't have to get everything at once. You get it as you can. But the more you get, each time you go to the store, you'll feel better. You'll feel more prepared. So these beans, um, you can get them in the can, of course. But these, you just soak them in water and then you boil them. So this may be better long term to keep. They store for like 30 years because they're dried. Um, and the same with rice. Also, I want to mention, if it says expired in a can or something like this, you don't have to throw it away, okay? This is just my opinion, but hear me out. People think, oh, it's expired. We have to throw it out. And if you've ever been broke or you ever needed food, you don't throw it out, okay? And you could always feed it to your dog or something. It would be fine. Because... They're so heavily processed and preserved. These cans will last for years. We put the date on there so that you throw it out and it's like a liability thing and they don't want to be held responsible, whatever. It's so you throw it out and buy more. That's what it is, okay? So we're not looking at expiration dates. We're not worried about this is going to last plenty of time and we don't know um, if the situation will last long, if it even happens. This is just so we know that we're good. And if nothing happens, we can use all of this food use it in our daily cooking or whatever no harm no foul okay this um these types of things seasonings these are cheap right these things you could get these at aldi go to your local uh, dollar tree or 99 cent store these seasoning packets are so cheap and if you're living off canned chicken or canned meat or something these are going to come in handy because they have all kind of flavors and when you're chickened out or you just can't eat another bite of canned roast beef or ham or whatever it is, these will come in handy. And you'll feel so grateful that you had some type of seasoning. Um, most people keep certain seasonings, you know, butter, um, onion powder, garlic powder, and of course cinnamon will come in handy if you're trying to make anything sweet in the future. Okay. Um, of course, that goes along with these are so cheap corn muffin mix and you can make um flapjacks you can make a meal out of this cornbread you can make all kind of stuff so with all of that okay we have this 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 i forgot to go over these i found these at a store okay you know what store it is for like a dollar and the reason these are good if you are an individual and you don't have kids and it's just you, this is all you need is one little packet, okay? It's a dollar. This could be enough meat for you, maybe for a whole day. But they have pulled pork, they have salmon, and the, the reason these are good is if you're on the go, if you have to leave your home for any reason, you put these in your backpack and you're prepared. Same with any kind of granola bar, okay? High caloric foods, cliff bars, um, Atkins bars, they're not as cheap as these, but when you think about long term and you think about if you're on the go or you can't stay in your home for some reason, you have to leave. These are good for kids. These are good. Just have something to snack on. You throw it in the backpack in your bug out bag, which you should already have and be working on. Um, and then you're good. So, okay. 
tomato sauce or paste. You'd be surprised what you could make out of tomato sauce. You could make a meatloaf. You could make maybe a pizza if you have bread. Or I have flour here, of course. Flour, salt, um, instant yeast, and sugar. Okay, the, oh, those are essentials. We know that. And then um, I just didn't really hit on it that much because it's essential and it's cheap, right? You can do a lot with salt too. You can put it in your bath, detox, you can scrub things, you can brush your teeth with salt. Um, and then sugar is just good to have for, I just think about the future of people are getting tired of eating all this canned food. You might want to make something sweet every now and then for your kids. So tomato sauce, you can make anything with it. These cans are literally like 40 or 50 cents. And there's no reason why you can't keep multiple of these. These are cheap. I think they're a dollar, maybe a dollar fifty, and it's supposed to feed an entire family. Mashed potatoes. Okay, they are instant. And like I said, this isn't. I'm not saying this is healthy. I'm not saying this is good for you. This is so you'll survive, and your kids will have food. Okay, same thing here. Rolled oats. You just add water, boiling water. Okay, or you soak them, um, and you can soak them in the milk that you have. So, breakfast. Okay, and this is very cheap. I think it's like two bucks for this giant thing. 42 ounces. This isn't really a good example of soups, but soups would be good. Because soup, also, you could add to rice. You could change the flavor of rice. You could throw rice in with some canned chicken and then a soup. And feed your whole family and have different flavors dependent on the soup. Chunky soup is a good brand if you want a bunch of sodium and fat, right? It's not something you should eat now every day, but it's high caloric foods that is dense in calories and fat and sodium. And when you're sweating out and you don't have a lot of food, sodium is really important. So, also, Peanut butter, high in fat, good amount of protein, um, sugar, you could buy, no sugar added, but you don't have to. Um, when you don't have food, it's fine to have that sugar for the carbohydrate for energy, of course, but the fat is the main thing, especially when you're dealing with kids. These are cheap. It's some off-brand. It's probably not that good for you, but it gives you the calories that you need. Okay, very cheap. So. For people who think, I can't afford to prep, whatever, you definitely can't afford to prep. There's a few other essentials that I want to hit on, aside from these milks and things. Milk, rice, meat, right? Essentials. Greens. They're not, I'm not going to say they're essential, okay? You may be a little malnourished with all this meat. You may not get vital vitamins, which is something to think about if you have extra money. Maybe put it into supplements. Um, vitamins, powder form um, greens, but it will be good to have to change things up, mix it in with rice, whatever you have to do when that time comes, if the time comes. Okay. Um, the next thing, very important thing here. Okay, I'm going to come over here. Borax. Can you see it? It's very cheap, okay? You can look into borax for health reasons. I'm not gonna go into it here, but you could look into it. Borax, with this very cheap felt naphtha, can you see it? Is it backwards? It probably is. F-E-L-S naphtha. With borax, you can make laundry detergent, okay? So if the stores are shut down, we have nothing. You can wash your clothes outside. You make a homemade, okay? You take like a third of this bar. If you guys are interested, I'll make it one day and make a video on how to make homemade laundry detergent. You make it with the borax and the felt naphtha, and then you add maybe a few drops of an essential oil if you want it to smell like something uh, specific, okay? And then you would just have to wash your clothes outside and dry them like they did in the olden days. Water is going to maybe be hard to come by. We don't know. 
but if things are shut down or the power plants are shut down and we have no power, we're not going to have clean water. So think about, check your local area. In some places it's illegal. I know. Collecting rainwater. You can buy the barrels. I think at Sam's Club. They're like 99 bucks. If you can even still get them. That was years ago when I saw them. And um, collect your own rainwater. And I'll get you the other water stuff in a minute. Distilled vinegar. You can clean with it. You can cook with it. You can do many things with vinegar. You can preserve food with vinegar. Okay. This, everyone should be buying this right now. And we know because of C19, when it was very hard to come by alcohol, rubbing alcohol and peroxide. You can get it right now. Stock up on these. This peroxide, I think, is 88 cents. And this might be even cheaper for this big bottle of alcohol. This is good for safety reasons. Peroxide is good for illness, many different illnesses, and of course, boo-boos, first aid type stuff. Okay, and then you want to think about that too. Band-aids, anything like that that you won't be able to run out to the store for that you might want to need or you might want to have. Um, very cheap. I have several, several of these bottles just for whenever because they're too cheap. You know, it's just, it's too cheap not to have. Soap, you can get this at Dollar Tree. You can get this at Aldi, where, wherever you are. Go to the cheapest place you can find. Dish soap, you can use for so many things, right? I mean, of course, cleaning, but I mean, you can mop your floors, you can, whatever. And it's cheap. And when you don't have it, you're gonna miss it. It's good to have both for dishes or whatever. Because this um, borax and the cell snapper will be for your clothing. Okay, um, along with that, I just wanted to mention, these things are not super cheap. But this is a battery, uh, solar power battery lighter for cooking. If you had to cook outside, know what I'm saying? If you needed to build an outdoor stove because you have no power. Battery, solar operated lighter as well as a little cheap camping stove each of these things i think are 20 bucks and like i said don't get everything at once of course that feels too heavy and pressure but when you start especially as a mom when you start collecting things here and there you start you feel a lot better okay these two if you live in a cold climate climate is changing it's getting colder winters are getting colder summers are getting hotter so what we need is these hand warmers, especially if you're like way far north. Okay, I'm in Florida, but I still bought these for my family because you never know. And maybe you need to leave your home. Maybe you need to go somewhere else. So there's toe warmers, hand warmers. I got these at Dollar Tree for a dollar each. Okay, and this one comes with two. So you just want to think about things that you might need. And I'm not for... I'm like holding on to things, you know, and like stocking up huge amounts of stuff. Um, but I am for being prepared. So if it costs you a buck and you're at the store anyways, maybe something that you want to look into. Okay. Last thing, which is vital, is the life straw. Life straw. You probably can't see it too good, but it comes in a pack like this. You need one per member of your family. You can buy them on Amazon. Um, they do have sales throughout the year. I think the cheapest I saw was like $14 per straw, life straw. They last up to three months. So this is if you're out um, foraging, who knows what kind of situation we'll be in, okay? But if you're out by a river or a creek or your backyard, rainwater that you've collected or even your tap water, this cleans and takes out the impurities, toxic chemicals and things for that water so you have clean drinking water which you will need okay as well as stock up on distilled water okay Shh. remember your pets that was a little message there thank you mercy Shh. remember your pets okay these little meats will be easy to feed them mix it with some rice they have big bags of this white rice brown rice basmati whatever you want jasmine Okay, and it's just good to have, it keeps forever. These rice and beans will keep for 30 years. So 
it's not like you're throwing money away. You'll use it eventually. You could use it if nothing happens. Nothing happens. And that's great. Live straw, very important. You may want to start growing your own food. Heirloom seeds okay, are available on Amazon or wherever your local store is. Heirloom seeds um, are the best. They're not hybrids. So that means they're non-GMO and they're natural. And you can start growing food in your backyard now to prepare and you can buy these things for cheap right now. Right now, like a dollar a piece, maybe two dollars a piece. Okay, and then um, don't forget your household cleaning items that you will need. And especially women, maybe you wanna think about your own feminine hygiene. Okay, so thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. This is for mothers mainly, but this is for whoever, maybe dads who don't know what to buy and they're raising a family, but this is for really anyone who wants to prep. But I wanted to direct this at mothers because I'm a single mom and it's so important to remember the fat for their brain development, the children. Okay, so I hope you found this beneficial and I will see you in the next video.